guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of The Mirror Empire by Cameron Hurley. Now this book is very hard to summarize because there's just a lot going on. I actually buddy read this with Adriana Perpetual Pages and we both have a very hard time doing a synopsis for this book because there's so much going on but yet we feel like we don't know a ton about it. So I'm gonna do my best with this. But this takes place in a matriarchal society and it takes place in a world that is actually it's part of parallel worlds. So at the very beginning of the story, one of the main characters, the girl that's kind of set up as being the main protagonist, even though there's multiple POVs in the story, she as a young child gets sent through a portal to another world by her mother to kind of save her. And so she gets sent through to a parallel universe and everything kind of takes off from there. So we get to kind of follow her along with a couple other perspectives in different worlds as well as different kind of nations that like we follow a lot of different things, a lot of different people. So the first thing I want to talk about is the world building with this because the world building is one of the biggest elements and it's also one of the elements that I struggled a lot with. So there's a lot of elements going on with this. There's a lot of elements going on with a lot of it, honestly. Like this whole book can kind of be described as the author juggling a lot of elements and I feel like dropping a lot of them or not really fully explaining them to the readers. So the magic system in this world revolves around kind of like an elemental type magic, but it's controlled by these satellites or stars that are in the sky. So there are different stars that rise and fall with, during different times and doing the different mages or elemental magicians or whatever you want to call them. They're called Gistas, so it's like depending on the star, it's star name Gista. And depending on whose star is in the sky, they're the ones that are the most powerful. And if you still have powers, if you're star is descendant, but it's not as powerful. And so that's kind of how the political machinations work. And there's different stars that are a little more powerful and there's stuff going on with all of these kind of stars and who has power and who doesn't and who can just do stuff in general because like certain people build their like infrastructure and stuff when their stars are up so that can't really be done or healing is up at a certain time so if you know that star isn't up you can't heal like a really dangerous wound stuff like that so that is kind of the big political maneuvering thing going on. This world also has sentient carnivore plant life which is an element that wasn't really explored that much honestly so there's just these plants that try to eat people and that's really all we know. And also the very big element of this world is along with the whole matriarchal society how gender and sexuality is explored and how they're the names for it and everything. So there are multiple different nations in these worlds and each one there's multiple genders. So one of the nations has three, one of them has five. So there's discussion on like pronouns and if people get to pick their gender in certain nations or people that are assigned their gender in certain nations and every character in this book I'm pretty sure is pansexual since there are multiple genders in each world then everybody is kind of pretty much open to any gender. So that was really cool and really different. I really liked that along with the matriarchal society and the views on sexism in this society. I really liked the different genders, the different talk on pronouns, and just the different talk about sexuality. I do think some things were dropped with that though. I do feel like the elements of sexism were kind of switched, which is a little bit lazy. So I liked that it was a matriarchal society, but I felt like the women a lot of times were acting like stereotypical men and vice versa. And I feel like that's kind of lazy. Like if you're going to do that, like it does kind of comment on our own sexism in our own society, but it just... I feel like it could have been done differently. Like we have, for example, one character who has a husband that she is raping and it's like, I don't like to see that no matter who is perpetuating that. And it was just really shitty and I feel like not necessary. So that was something that was happening. We had a lot of talk of people not respecting men and male characters really not being allowed to be strong characters because they didn't have a womb and stuff like that. So I feel like the female characters were really good, but I feel like we again had almost like the flip situation where then we didn't have any really strong male characters. So that was, I feel like, dropped a little bit. Also with the different genders and pronouns, I was talking to Adrienne about this as well, and we were both kind of confused because they didn't use these different pronouns when talking. So you didn't actually know who was of a different gender, who, what kind of pronoun that they were using, because they would say after like, oh, so-and-so used that pronoun for that person. So then you kind of have to go back and reread and be like, okay, so like, okay, so I have to read that a little differently because, than what I did. So it was really kind of confusing. I wish they would have just had those pronouns being used that you could kind of track throughout the entire book. So next let me talk about the characters. There are a lot of characters in here. Like there's a lot of POVs and there's a lot of characters and there's a lot of like political stuff happening with this book as well. And 
it's just really confusing and there is a glossary in the back that has a lot of different terms and stuff because especially with the different parallel worlds there's different terms the same term being used in different worlds so you have to be like okay what does this mean and a lot of the words are very similar this is kind of i feel an asian inspired society and a lot of the language makes things very similar so that can be a little confusing a little jarring i eventually got it but it is something that can be like a little jarring at the beginning so a lot of the names in here are very similar and be kind of kind of hard to keep track of and there are so many characters there's just so many so i feel like there was that main protagonist that i said at the beginning that i felt like was kind of lifted up as the main protagonist but ultimately we don't even see her that much which is kind of good because i didn't particularly like her that much that main protagonist is lilia and she is very foolish and I was not a big fan of her. I like my stubborn impulsive protagonist but she is doing something and she keeps making these decisions and betraying people and doing pretty awful things for a really dumb reason. Like she basically the whole thing is that she made a promise and she's just doing all these things for this promise that she doesn't actually understand and people that know more than her and she knows they know more than her are telling her to do something and she's like no and it's really annoying and she does it over and over and over again and hurts people and then just doesn't care and she has no like repercussions for her actions and she's very irritating and very unlikable in a bad way because i like unlikable characters but she's very unlikable and then there's all these characters and they really don't grow a ton and there's this element of the characters being the same through most of the book and then the last like 10 to 20 percent all of a sudden a lot of them change instantly and are all of a sudden completely different and it's like you can't just do that like that doesn't make any sense and that's really irritating it doesn't make up for all the things they did before that were irritating it just makes it more irritating because it's like why couldn't you just have a nice gradual progression why couldn't you have gotten better slowly i don't understand your motivations and why you're doing this now and a lot of these things happened where like they had no obstacles later on oh, when they did these badass things and it's like that doesn't make sense you haven't learned anything so how can you do that it makes no sense so yeah it was mostly confusing there was one character that i really liked and they are a kind of almost like gender fluid i guess you could say character they're a character whose gender changes biologically multiple times kind of throughout the series and stuff so they're a really cool character but again we didn't see a ton of them and they still did dumb stuff and people interact with them in a dumb way and it was just not necessary. So last thing I talk about the plot, this book is pretty confusing and kind of slow in a way but I did find this book pretty readable. Nicely the chapters are really short so it's pretty easy to kind of fly through it even if you're struggling with it so that was good but ultimately I feel like I don't know anything extra from what I knew at the very beginning of the story. Like we are kept as readers away from the story. Like the narrative keeps you at a distance and doesn't tell you anything and the characters aren't told anything. So there are characters that know things and that you know know things and they won't tell people. They just won't. And it's like why not? Like, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. And yet they still won't tell people things and you're like okay. okay. like. So I kind of understand why these characters are doing dumb shit because you're not telling them anything and then you're not telling me anything. So there's a lot of things that like I kind of guessed at the beginning and kind of like sort of was able to figure out from foreshadowing elements. So those things we find out and are confirmed at the end of the story kind of thing. But it's not like we knew anything extra, you know, from the beginning. So I, yeah, struggle with this plot because it's just like what, it, what happened in this? Stuff, stuff happened, but like I don't really feel like the story got progressed in any reasonable fashion and so i'm not really sure if i'm going to continue on with the series i end up giving this book two out of five stars and the two stars are only for that kind of cool society you know matriarchal and a lot of different genders and very fluid sexualities and stuff like that but ultimately i feel like a lot of things were dropped with this like the characters were not at all fleshed out or developed properly and the world even wasn't really fleshed out that well and the plot was just kind of like just dragged on and then things weren't really answered. So I don't know if you have read this book and you've also read the second book and you had a similar opinion to me about this first book but really enjoyed the second book, let me know because I'd be willing to maybe try it. Maybe when I'm not so mad about it. But right now this is definitely like a two star book for me. I am going to be doing a spoilery gripe on this book so if you're interested in more of my spoilery thoughts and I will link that on the screen. But comment down below let me know what you thought of the Mirror Empire. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!